All right, what's up, everybody? Um, here is my review of this Husky uh, ratcheting set. Um, in a previous video, I talked about how it was $9 and, well, $10, and it was a great deal, blah, blah. I got it immediately. It's good. There are a couple gripes, though, or just some things you need to know. First of all, all of these bits do not fit in this little compartment here. And you might end up seeing the cord to the microphone. Just excuse that. But uh, one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't screw on. I would prefer something that screws because it'll be a little easier to manage. But you got to see this kind of got to pop it off that way. You can get used to it. But there's only room for one of these things. And there's nowhere to keep. You know, there's no compartment or case or anything to keep your extra stuff. So these are going to be loose somewhere. Uh, what I recommend doing is just going through all the bits and just finding the ones that you'll use more frequently. Uh, that's what I did. And uh, so there you go. I have a T20, two Phillips, a flathead, and then this hex uh, bit here. Now, another thing, how I demonstrated in the video that when you turn... You know, it keeps going. Well, there's a little thing to that because I noticed when I was using it, it was it was functioning like a normal ratcheting screwdriver, and I was confused by that. You have to hold this in order to make that happen. As you see, when I move this, it moves. See, this acts like a regular ratchet. It turns, then it pauses, turns, and pauses, and then this handle acts like a counter to that so when you use them together it just keeps going kind of like I don't know if you like me I usually hold the thing and I turn it and then I spin it I spin it with my hand to make sure it keeps going that's basically what this is doing so you don't have to hold this you just do that and it spins with your hand otherwise it just work like a regular ratchet as you can see here so that's the other thing but other than that it works um, it's not incredibly balanced uh, the button handle of the thing is really heavy, uh, so it's not very lightweight. Um, like, and for those of you that use tools a lot, know what I'm saying. Like, uh, if you have a good screwdriver, it's it's balanced. Like, there's a lot of metal on this end, and then the handle is usually lightweight, and you can almost balance it on your finger. When it's not balanced, it could create a little more fatigue than normal. And I'm being nitpicky, but you know, when you handle tools long enough, you'll you'll know the feel of a quality tool. This is not it. <laughs> it's not bad though. You know, it gets it's this was created to get the job done quicker, um, and it does do that. The co connecting of the bits here is a little flimsy. Um, you see, I it comes out easily. Uh, it, it it won't fall out while you're using it at all. It's snug. It's just this little ball here does not snap into place if you look around on the inside there's nothing to snap to at least that not that i noticed i looked very hard nope all the walls inside of the unit are flat so there's nothing to kind of snap into better quality tools have a little indentation where this ball snaps into place and it secures it the bit better uh so that is that i didn't try just using a bit individually you know it works and so it'll work as a stubby tool and it'll work you know as uh with your extensions as well so i mean would i still recommend it yeah it's a great little gift a great tool for ten dollars um you just want to make sure you have a little contractor bag like i said i think the ultimate gift will be something like this that uh adapter set that i showed in the previous video which i'll leave a link to uh, and that Milwaukee drill driver kit for one ninety nine. All in that, all this will cost you what? You know, two hundred and twenty dollars. You have a complete little arsenal there, and you have a contractor bag to keep all the stuff in. So, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll catch you guys next time.